Where do we stand? I've been waiting for you uh, so that we can go in together and uh, watch the final unveiling. Very kind of you. And if the princess isn't in the last crate, I guess we're all in a bit of a mess, aren't we? At the worst, back to square one. Look at it this way, at least the world will be saved and your conscience is clear. Speaking of conscience, after this mess is all over, I'd like to have a chat to you about walking off with my date last night. Oh, yes, yes, about that. You know, uh, your date has uh, committed herself to nuptial bliss. Oh. It's yours, truly. Did you know that? Luke! Well, there you are. Hi, baby. Bobby said I should tell you something about a crate that just arrived. Are they unpacking it? Well, they just finished it. Then I say we all go in. We don't want to miss anything, do we? No, we do not. Oh. I never dreamt it could be so exciting. Yeah, it's a real kick, ain't it? <laughs> There's so many people here, you could get lost in the crowd. Oh, I doubt that, Ruby. Uh, the fl framed lithograph here should be number 22, Bobby. Got it. Any more things, officer? Yeah, there's a couple more things down in there. Thank you. Hi, how's it going? Did he say how many more were there? No, he didn't. Look, I said hi. Oh, hi, babe. I'm sorry. I can't talk to you now. Why not? Please, babe. Oh, uh, Robert, I'm glad I ran into you. I think I owe you an apology and an explanation. No apologies necessary, love. Well, yes, it is. I, I think so. I felt that I behaved very rudely last night. can't time. really talk to you now, sweetheart. Listen, look, what's the rude? Oh, hey, girl, what's going on? Do you care? <laughs> hey, Laura, look, it's nice to see you, too. I'm sorry. I, it's just, I can't understand why everyone is so fascinated by a bunch of boy Would you look at that lithograph? That's it. Come on, baby. Come on. I'll just go outside and come back in again. Leslie, how's that? Nothing. Oh, aren't you sweet to say that? She just says that because she saw me looking not quite so lovely a short while ago. Oh, I couldn't believe that for a moment. I already adore this man. Oh, you're going to adore him even more when I tell you who he is. Lila, may I present Tony Castle? This is the man who made that terrific bid on that little piece of modern sculpture before the auction. Oh, he would have been such a wonderful contribution to the hospital. But I do hope you understand why we, we couldn't let you have it earlier. Oh, absolutely. As long as it's still up for auction today. I'm sure it is. And this time you could bid as high as you like and we won't stop you. But there will be some competition because it's a very popular piece. And my husband and my niece are really are as well. Well, be the best men win. <laughs> Or the best woman. Alex, I was just talking about you. So I heard. And I'm sure this gentleman will agree that the most priceless art objects will go to the highest bidder. Obvious. Alex, I don't think you met Tony Castle. Tony, this is Alex Quartermain, Lila's niece. It's a real pleasure meeting you, Miss Quartermain. Please call me Alex, Mr. Castle. You'll be calling me Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The statue that everybody's been making such a fuss about. Lila, you certainly have done a magnificent job here. Mm -hmm. Oh, ho! Oh. She says that now, but you should have heard the ranting and raving that went on at home. Oh, come now. <laughs> From such a lovely lady, I find that hard to believe. Excuse me, please. I... Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Mr. Castle, how are you? Very well, Dr. Hardy. Mrs. Hardy. Seems to be a very exciting day, I'd say. That's certainly one word for it. You know, yes. we've been looking around for Jeremy's watercolor painting, but so far, no luck. I guess we'll keep trying. Excuse us. Bye. See you later. Bye. Hello, Mom. Hi, child. Hello, Mr. Castle. Laura, how nice to see you again. You too. Hello, Alex. Hello, Laura. Have any of you had a chance to uh, look around at all? No. No. Uh, not yet. Well, me either, and I was just looking for some company to uh, check out the exhibit. <laughs> oh, hi. How are you, Luke? Uh, I don't think you've had a chance to meet Tony Castle. Tony, this is Luke Spencer. How do you do, Mr. Castle? How are you? Very well. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Well, I think I'm feeling a little left out, Mr. Castle. It seems that uh, I'm the only one in town who hasn't met you. We must be traveling in different circles. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to change that now. Uh, I hate to bring this up again, but would anybody like to look at the exhibit? Yes. I think that's a good idea, Laura. Why don't we take a closer look at the various items? Let's do that. Good way. Pardon me. Look, 
uh, I'll catch up with you later, all right? Okay. I think I'd better be joining them, Alex. Alex, what is all this about? Scorpio is watching over a friend. Look, don't worry about it. He can watch over Laura all he likes. It won't do him any good. I'm not talking about Laura. Who? Anthony Cassadine. I live now, but you know him as Tony Cassadine. Mm -hmm. Well, it's getting very close to home in here, isn't it? Something like that. Well, he's been in town for months. He's gotten very chummy with Laura's mother. So I noticed. And I know that he's also hanging out with Robert quite a bit. Which means that they could be partners. Because they could. Look, uh, are you sure you're going to be able to handle this all by yourself? I'm absolutely positive, Alex. colors in this. Isn't this great? It'll look great in the condominium, too. How do you like it? Kathy, how do you like this? Isn't this great? Uh, I'm asking you a question. Oh, I'm sorry, Richard. What do you know? Oh, did you say something? What has you two so fascinated over there? Nothing. Nothing, really. I have a feeling something big is going on. You know, I have the funniest feeling that we are being watched. I kind of get that feeling myself. Does it bother you? Well, uh, I guess I better get used to it because I'm stuck with you. You'd better believe it. Uh, uh, does that feeling hold true even if Lee and Gail just walked in? That uh, doesn't matter to me. It holds true for anybody. I love you. You better, because you're stuck with me, too. Are you sure that you're going to get the money tonight? Absolutely. As soon as the auction is over. I'm so excited. <laughs> me, too. Uh, but this is a public place, so maybe we should uh, wait to do what we want to do later. Let's celebrate tonight. The champagne is going to be chilled and waiting. 